Hello everyone, welcome back to Mathmo. Today we have an interesting equation with absolute value, so I hope this this lesson is will be really good for you because I try to explain how to solve this, this absolute value problem. So take a look. Doesn't matter what absolute value problem, real hard, real easy, you just need to to solve a mo a cases with absolute value. So firstly, we don't know about the sign of this absolute value. So this can be plus, this can be plus. So let's let's solve this case. So this is plus and the second one is positive. The second case as well, we don't know about the sign. So this can be negative and this can be positive. We we still have this, this combination. So this is positive, this one is negative. Third case, of course, this one can be positive, this can be negative and the first one, all both can be can be negative. So doesn't matter, you know a lot about absolute value, just learn this, this rule how to solve absolute value problem. So you need just need to solve any combination with absolute value. Plus plus, minus plus, plus minus and two, both of these are negative one. So let's solve this, this at first. So both of these are positive. We will have plus x minus three. I just put this plus, doesn't necessary, but I put it just to, to show you plus x plus 6. Of course, this plus doesn't change anything. We'll have x minus 3 equal to x plus 6. And if we solve this, we'll have a really interesting answer. We will have that 0 equal to 9, which is incorrect. So this first case is not good for us. First case, we reject this, this answer. So first case is not good. So this is our first case. Okay, let's solve the second one. We'll have first have minus sign, the second case. The first have minus sign minus x minus 3 equal to the second have plus, plus x plus 6. If you open parentheses, we will have an interesting case. We'll have minus x plus 3 equal to x plus 6. How can you solve it? Of course, bring this x or this one or this one on the right, or let's bring this one on the right, we will have the 2x equal to minus 3 and of course if we divide both side by 2 we will have x equal to minus 1.5. So if we have, we have an answer. So this is our second case. And later we'll check this answer with this absolute value equation. So let's, let's solve the third case. So this is the first case, this is the second case which is good because we find, we find our our answer. So the third case, this is plus and this is minus. What we'll have? We will have that the first one with the plus sign x minus 3 is the same and the second one with minus sign we just change change our sign minus x and minus minus x minus 6. Right here so you can see what we'll have. We will have a really interesting case because we will have that 2x we bring this on the right 2x equal to minus 3 and this is the same so x equal to 1.5 so as you can see third case give us the same root which is which is good for us and the fourth case it's not hard to see that if we plug in this minus near this coefficient we will have 0 equal to 0 equal to some number so I just show you we will have minus x minus 3 and equal to minus x plus 6 how can you solve it? Minus x plus 3 equal to minus x minus 6 and our 0 equal to minus 9 which is which is incorrect. So as you can see we just check all of these combination the first one, second, third and the fourth and more mostly in most cases the first case and the fourth one does not have any solution or the second or the third does not have any solution. But in our case we find x equal to minus 1.5. So let's check this. Let's check this root. So absolute value minus 1.5 minus 3 equal to minus 1.5 and plus plus 6. Right here, as you can see, we find we solve it and we the answer will be minus 4.5. And this one will be 4.5. But moreover, we have absolute value. So if you find absolute value, from both sides we will have that 4.5 equal to 4.5 which is good for us and our answer will be x equal to 1.5 minus 1.5 one and only root so this is my approach how I solve absolute value problem you if you 
have another approach, write your approach in a comment. It will be really interesting to read it. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos.